Cholesteatoma uh, is essentially a skin uh, that forms resistance in the wrong place. It's not a cancerous growth, it's, it's, it's just your skin, but it can be what we call locally destructive because it will accumulate and it, the infection can spread. Eustachian tube is what doesn't work to make the uh, children have more ear infections. The, uh, the middle ear doesn't get ventilated. That creates a vacuum, sucks the eardrum in, which is covered, covered with skin. Uh, and so that's what causes the clostoma. Other way the clostoma can, the skin can get in is if you have a hole from having an infection, the skin can crawl in through the hole. It looks like a pearl. So it has a pearly, shiny appearance, as opposed to more of a grayish, you know, more cellophane-looking eardrum. It's not something that occurs quickly. Usually, it's, it's based on somebody who's had it for a while and long-term ear infections. Uh, and they have to kind of keep on having smelly drainage, even despite all kinds of antibiotics and drops. And then that, that'll be the time for us to take a look. There's the bones in the middle ear, so that can erode those bones, so it can again, make you have a problem hearing. It can get into the inner ear, uh, the cochlea, and that uh, will lead to what's called sensory neural loss, which would be a more permanent loss. It can get into and affect the facial nerve, so it can have a droopy face. It can get into the inner ear that has the balanced part, and it can make you dizzy, so you can have dizziness and spinning sensation. And then if it gets deep enough uh, and, it's, and then gets infected, it can also spread into the brain, causing brain infection, such as meningitis and abscesses. The infection will make it grow faster, so we have to control the infection. That's one way to control it. But if it, once it gets settled in the ear, we need to go and remove it, and that's the only way we can do that is surgically. For every thousand or more ki kids, uh, adults who have ear infection, you better get one that may have that. So, so fortunately it's not common, but it can be serious, so definitely need to be uh, evaluated by an ear, nose, and throat specialist.